Hey everybody, it's Sammy. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video topic is super important to me because it's something that I've really struggled with in my athletic career, and that is how to stay motivated when you're injured. So if you're familiar with my competitive career, towards the end of it, I actually injured my ankle. I ended up tearing several ligaments a couple times, and I had surgery to kind of repair them, and then they tore again. So I had to deal with this injury for uh, numerous years and it was one of the biggest struggles, the biggest obstacles that I kind of had to deal with while I was competing. One important thing that I always prioritize is having a strong mindset because when you're injured, it's easy to just kind of fall into this you know, like misery of being like, oh no, I can't do anything, the world is ending, everything is over. It's super easy to get into that. But you really need a strong mindset if you wanna overcome this kind of challenge. So for today's video, I'm going over three of the most important quotes to me that kind of just reminded me about how I wanted to keep my strong mindset, stay positive, and overcome my challenge. Before we get started, guys, I'm in my new training room and my new house. It doesn't look great yet, I'm still filling it in with you know like different equipment my biggest need right now is mats quick tip if you're building out like a workout room at home or if you're just needing equipment make sure you check at century martial arts that is where i get literally like all of my equipment from i'm pretty sure they have like everything that a martial artist needs to train at home you guys get 10 percent off if you use the code samory10 it'll give you 10 percent off literally like anything on the century website which is awesome they're awesome for doing that now let's go ahead and get started with my first favorite quote I'm just going to read them off of the Instagram and the first one is when something bad happens you have three choices. You can either let it define you, you can let it destroy you, or you can let it strengthen you. Now this is one of my favorite ones because it's true, you know, like you get injured, you can't do anything about that, but what you can do is what you're going to do with your attitude and your outlook on this challenge. Honestly, this actually applies to so many different areas of your life because you're always going to have like a bunch of different things thrown at you that you can't always control, but you can always keep track of how you react towards all these outside factors. Okay, so let's break down these three choices and also if you don't make a choice, there's kind of a default one which you won't really get anywhere usually so really just make a choice as to what you want to do with it so the first one is if you let it define you then you're always gonna get stuck and hung up on the fact that you have an injury maybe you're gonna go out and try like you know after your rehab and everything maybe you're gonna go back out to a tournament and you're gonna be so worried so stressed about re-injuring that it's always gonna get stuck in your head and you're just gonna define your whole life based off of that injury I don't know about you, but I didn't want that one. The second one, letting it destroy you. This one is really easy to kind of go into because when you're injured, you can't do a lot of the things that you want to do and you often feel really sad, really frustrated. Like you're going to feel all these feelings no matter what. But the thing is, you can't let these control you. You can't let them destroy you if you want to overcome this. So that leads us into our third choice and that is to let it strengthen you. This is obviously the one that I chose to go with. It is the hardest one because you kind of have to work on your mind a lot while you're, you know, like going through this uh, injury. But the process of overcoming this can be really good and it can really lead you to a lot of growth in many different ways if that is what you want to do. So the first thing is make a choice. What do you want to do? Do you want to overcome this or do you want to just, you know, kind of let it suck, change what you're doing? What is it that you want to do? Make a choice. Quote number two, do not let what you cannot do interfere with what you can do. Oh my gosh, this is such a good one because it's really easy to get caught up on, I don't know, for me it was, you know, like being on the sidelines in while we were having a training session at our studio and I just had to be on the side of the mats. At first I was even like in a wheelchair in a cast and then I was in a boot for, I don't know, like eight weeks or something crazy and all I could do was sit in the, on the side of the mats, cheer my teammates on and just literally watch them. This was really hard because in my head, I would just get frustrated and be like, oh, I wish I could just go out there and spar. But what I chose to do because I made that choice of overcoming this was to actually, you know, just like find my own space. Sometimes I'd go into the other room or just, you know, like go off into the lobby or something. And I would just work on my own exercises. I would work on my core strength. I would work on stretching. I would work on, you know, like analyzing matches. I would work on strengthening the muscles without ag aggravating or making my injury worse. I would work on all the rehab exercises they told me to do. So there's a lot of things that you can still do and you should focus on those that way you feel like you're progressing because the most frustrating part of an injury is feeling like you're stuck in one place and that's something i definitely didn't want to feel so 
try and find where you can feel progress in for what you are doing. Maybe it's, you know, like working out another part of your body or maybe it's an injury that you can't really do that, but instead you can train your mind by like watching matches. So figure out and focus on what you can do instead of what you cannot do right now. Quote number three, the comeback is always stronger than the setback. This one's huge. Okay, think about this. What's more inspiring? Hearing that somebody like, you know, like did this huge accomplishment, like earned the gold medal at this huge event, and they had to go through all these things that they overcame because they had injuries, they had struggles, you know, like they had to do all of these things to actually get to that point. Or do you want to hear the story about somebody who literally just walked in and got everything handed to them, had to do no work at all? What's more relatable? the one that did the struggles. And why? It's because everyone's gonna have to go through them. You already have the injury, you can't really do anything about it, but think about how much more that accomplishment will mean to you if you're able to overcome it. You're gonna come out feeling so much stronger, like you can literally take on anything that's thrown at you. And that's what I wanted to do. At first, when I had my surgery, my only goal was to get out back on the mat as fast as possible. But really, that amount of time, it took like about a year of, you know, just like really rehabbing until I. I felt like I could go back in and actually fight feeling good about my ankle. And in that year, I just kind of gave myself so much time to explore different th things. I started YouTube, I worked a lot on like my mental strength as an athlete and my confidence, things like that. And I wouldn't have really given that time had it not been for my ankle injury. So just take that setback as something that you can use to strengthen yourself and come out back on top even better. Because I truly believe that if it wasn't for that injury, I like, I came out of it a stronger athlete before than before my injury. And that's what you have to do is take what you're given and turn it into something positive. Let it strengthen you, not destroy you. So now I wanna hear from you guys. Tell me below what is the injury or what is the challenge that you're trying to overcome right now? Mine was an ankle injury that was pretty devastating. I'm not gonna lie, it hurt a ton but I was able to get over it. So just, yeah, tell me your thoughts. Where are you at in your injury, your struggle? Tell me what it is and let's kind of help each other build off of that in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Once again, make sure that you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss out on any videos and I will see you guys all next week for a new video. Make sure that you follow me on, at, on Instagram at Live Martial Arts so we can chat in the meantime. Have an awesome week, guys. I'll see you next time.